season are you in? Come on and say amen unto me. I said this is part two. Now, Sister Camille, am I correct? Amen. God never gives me series. I'm a delivery preacher, so what you see is what you get. Sometimes you don't give me a message that I give up. Amen. Amen. I don't preach by what so and so said or who said this and who said that. I preach by what thus says the Lord. Amen. Amen. I preach by what you call divine revelation. God has revealed Himself to me for the people in that reason, in that season. Amen. Amen. Paul said, Beloved of love, all things get the what? Revelation. revelation of the word. Paul said above all things, beloved, get the what? Revelation. Revelation means to reveal himself unto you. Amen. So God never gives me a series. He's only done that twice and this is the second time. As long as I've been preaching, this is the second time. Amen? Amen. Amen. So whatever he's doing in this season, Lord, do it for me. Amen. 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 We talked about amen what season are you in? Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor. What season are you in? What season are you in? That's the wrong neighbor. They, they, they didn't want excited to find out what he had. Find another neighbor. As a matter of fact, get out your seat. Amen. Let's do some exercise. Go grab a neighbor by the hand and ask them and look them in the eye and say, neighbor, what season are you in? We're trying to get some location to find out where you're at. Oh, you got the meaning. Shake it and rock that hand. Rock it and shake it. And look them in the eye and say, neighbor, what season are you truly in? In other words, Shawnee, do you know where you're at? Sister Mimi, can you find out where you're supposed to be? Because Sister Camille, I found out that if you're in the right place at the right time, uh-oh, uh-oh, something's good going to happen to you because you're in the right place at the right time. Come on and say amen. Well, let me tell you, I feel like preaching today. My wife gave me a testimony. I know what season I'm in. Guess what season I'm in, Sister Camille? I'm in the witch killing season. I'm in the witch killing season. What you mean, Bishop? He said, touch not my anointing. Do my prophet no harm. Who you do? Can you come double? But you can't come no further. I'm in the season right now when I feel you can call me. Dr. Kill there. Kill that over there. Kill that spirit over there. I'm in a season right now where God is blessing and protecting. See, sometimes God will let a witch or a warlock, even your own family member, come against you. Why in that season, gossiping lying, putting their mouth on you? What season are you in? I'm in a season right now where I tell the devil, you can do nothing unless God allow it. What season are you in? Come on and share that. Good. It's good to laugh. Amen. Amen. If you walk around like I did when I first got saved, 
again, not when I was a kid, but when I come out of selling all the drugs and running around, what you mean, come here, he's the police, he sold drugs. Yes, he did. Bonafide thug, amen? amen? But God turned my life around. Yeah. That was the season I was in then. Yeah. But it was a time to laugh, amen? I come to church as I got the new because I used to dress real good as a drug dealer because I was free money, right? It was some time to laugh because when I got the middle, if you old school, you remember dragging that you had Sergeant Joe Fry, Joe, Joe, Joe Fry, the, the John Brown pants was up to him. I was. He was an L7. When I got saved, that's how I was. Some people began to laugh. Yeah. Look at him. Church boy now. Laugh now. I ain't weeping no more. All right. Say amen. amen. What season are you in? He says it's a time to weep, a time to laugh. It's a time to mourn. Huh? Amen. It's a time to mourn. Yes, Somebody passed away, you miss them. Mm. It's a time to mourn. Yes, but if you don't like death, and I know, you don't need to mourn. Mm. You need to rejoice. Amen. Yes. And thank God. Either they made it in, they need preachers to get up here and tell a lie. Notice what it's all this crap. Shot up all these people. He's in a better place now. Yeah, it's called hell. That's the place that he's in. Say amen. 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 A time to mourn. Mm. Then he says a time to dance. Yes, See, everybody don't understand there's a Holy Ghost dance you could do because the Bible said, and David did what? Dance. God loves you to dance before him. Amen. amen. Heaven and earth adore him. Angels bow down before him. What season are you in? Verse 5 says what? A time to do what? In other words, that, that weight that you've been on, that heaviness. Do you understand that the reason why you have strokes, heart attacks, depression, oppression, because your brain is a computer? Yes. Your brain is a computer. Now, you know anything about a computer? I preached the message, glory to God, I think New Year's. I said, control, alt, delete. Mm -hmm. They looked at me like I was crazy. What you mean, Bishop? Control. In other words, you got to delete. Pants. Amen. What season are you in? You ain't there no more. Amen. Your brain is a computer. And computer get what? Viruses. Amen. Just like your computer do, your brain does too. Amen. So you got to control, alt, delete, delete and find out. It's supposed to be. Somebody say, God. God. What season? What season? Am I in? Am I in? Now, we know there's weather, summer, spring, and fall. Weather, summer, autumn, spring. Am I right? Amen. But then there's another season. Mm -hmm. You already know what it is because I go everywhere I go, I'm preaching. Amen. It's called the what? Do. But there's another season. Yes. Uh -oh. Huh? Amen. See, so you got to be like the Bereans and such as by the day. There's another season, Brother Mike. It's called the do season. See? The word do, watch this, is a person's right to what is owed or to someone. Say amen. amen. It's, a, it's an obligatory payment in that time. So if you're serving God and you're doing what he's supposed to do, following his commandments, blessing the poor, taking care of the needy, there's a do season. Yeah. Yeah. How many need their due season right now. Glory. I ain't talking about in a couple of months when you're waiting on the government <laughs> how much your taxes is over. <laughs> I'm talking about it right now. Season. Due season. Come on now. Yes, yes. Not later, but it's due to me. Yes. See, when I sold in secret, Sister Mimi, God said he'll reward me openly. Go to your book of Matthew and tell you. Yes. The Lord that seeth in secret yes. will reward you. What season are you? Are you weeping? That season that you sold 10 years ago. That you blessed this child and gave him a ride or took this nasty drunk that was beating this woman upside the head or you stopped by, you're not worried about the man or the woman holding the side. we work for food. You know they out here doing drugs, but that went past your mind and you went ahead and gave him $10 anyway. Mm -hmm. What season? Are you in the reaping season? Come on now. Are you in your due season? Continual. 
If you contend with his soul secret, God said, I reward you openly. Yes. Huh? Yes. Say amen. amen. Then there's another season. Write this one down. So you forgot about this season. I said there's a due season. Somebody said, do you? Do you eat? Do you eat? But then there's another due season. Woo! Well, you got to do some work. This season, do, means to perform. Eh, come on now. It's an action. It's the precise nature of what is often unspecified with specifics. I will do my work. Mm. I can do all things. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Come on and say that. That's the other do with the do. So if I'm doing that, I get the do from this. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Uh, help me, Holy Ghost. Yes, sir. He says, it's a time to get and a time to lose. Yes. A time to keep and a time to what? Yeah. You know I got a problem with that. Yeah. I'm getting clothes out to the home so it's coming like, hold on. I catch a shirt or two that I ain't worn in 10 years. I'm going to give it away. And I peep it when we have to get it to the people. Where that shirt going? Let's see that shirt in a minute. It's kind of fit there. Maybe I can squeeze myself back in. No, Bishop, that ain't that season. You're in the season of you need to lose someone. <laughs> <laughs> you're in the season, man, man, well, you need to come on now. Come off this gut, then you probably can keep that shirt. What season are you in? Because right. there's a season of gluttony where you're just picking up food, mm. picking up tater chips, picking up m like I did last night. <laughs> mm, you tell me. Well, I do what my wife said now. You're going to eat half, but then she's going to rebuke me. Look at your leg up here. Watch the TV with your leg all cocked up. <laughs> Sucking on the M&M's. <laughs> well, sister, you asked me what I wanted. <laughs> then I said, I oh, did what you said. I ain't half. <laughs> now, I can't do that. <laughs> what in the world? I'm in the season of being judged. <laughs> Say that. A time to rend. That means to tear the pieces. Yes. A time to sow. Put it together. A time to keep silence. Yes. Shh. Don't say nothing. He that dwell up in the what? Thick dark. Secret place. Secret place. Secret place. Yeah. Because if you shut your mouth, the devil can't get your location. Right. See, there's three attributes we have. Can I teach you? Yeah, go ahead. We can see, we can hear, we can taste. Yes. But the monkey, that's what I call him, the devil. Maybe he can only do one thing. He can hear. So every time you complain about your hair, about your feet not being done, your fingers, your toes. Every time you complain about what Calvin did or what Mary did. Every time, oh, my head hurt, my back ate. Hey, guess what? The devil. And he's the God of the air. So now you just put that spirit out there. Mm -hmm. So that spirit got to come back to you. With seven more friends. Jesus. Instead of you speaking life. Oh, I'm going to get my hair done tomorrow. Mama, I thank you for buying some food and putting up to get paying the light bill. I'm more than a comfort of Christ that strengthens me. What season are you in? Are you in the season of mama and complaining? You see, that's where the devil gets his glory. And the more you mama and complain, the more he gives you to mama and complain about. What season are you in? You got to put the word on the devil. In the beginning was the word, and the word was God. The word was with God. The same as such in the beginning. All things by him. In him we live, we move, we have our being. God is in control of everything. But the question is, what season are you in? But not just for a season. See, when we look at time, we look at season as it's forever. But the Bible says a day in the Lord is a thousand years. A thousand years is one day in the Lord. What is time to God? Come on now. It's one day is a thousand years? Huh? Six days God created the earth. 
Huh? Seventh day he rested. Yes. So for a thousand years was one day. I'm not in school. That means it took him how long to create the earth? Six thousand. Six thousand years. Okay. You're mad. I'm not the mathematician. Now you see how I preach? I'm not in the Bible. What are you looking at? He's giving it to me right now as I speak. That's called revelation. Amen. Huh? Amen. What season are we in, Mimi? Where am I at, God? What do I do? Where do I go? How do I dress? Because he said, in all of our ways acknowledge him. He shall. It's a promise. There's no way you can go wrong because we preach Proverbs 3 every week. It's a church scripture. It puts you in the right season. I'm trying to help somebody. I'm trying to line you up where, where you should be. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Because your heart is the muscle that pumps blood. That's all it does. There's no faith for you. Mm -hmm. When you saw her, you know from the bottom of your head when you was back then, you was thinking it's muscle. No, it's a man thinking in his heart. So is he or she. Yes. What season are you in? Where am I? Am I helping anybody? Yes. A time to love and a time to hate. Yes. You hate anybody? Be honest. Just raise your hand if you hate somebody. Yes, the devil. I don't know the devil. I hate people. <laughs> I ain't trying to be cute. Amen. You know why I come here? Because in order to know how to love, you first got to know how to hate. Amen. That's right. Amen. I feel the tight as a bear in my mind. You got to know how to hate before I know how to love. Amen. You got to know how to go down before you can go up. Uh, yes, sir. You can't go in without knowing how to go out. Am I teaching you good? Come on, teach us. Hmm? You understand? That's what you got to do. First grade. Huh? Amen. What season are we in? Where you at, David Spears? What season are you in? Where are you at? See, in order to find out the answer to what I'm telling you, you got to get on and receive some new mail. See, you got to do what I tell you when I send out that text to say, we're going to have 15 minutes of power. Bishop, why don't you just give us 15 minutes? And some of y'all folks can't go five minutes. Somebody got to watch Empire trying to catch that last episode of Power. Say amen. amen. I put this mic down. I tell you, let me see if I ain't in the house today. Am I telling the truth? Shut up. Is Bishop telling the truth? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You heard him? Team Skirt. He says, a time to love, a time to hate. Watch this. I don't like to go to war, but a time of war. God ordained the sanction wars. If you read your word, then he said, a time of peace. See, war is just not going over and overseas and fight. War is in your home. War is in your mind. Walls and arguments and disagreements and frustration, devastation. Walls is everywhere. You just can't think about I'm putting the army there. I'm in the Marine Corps. No. Come on now. Come on now. The song says, Though the storms keep on raging, my soul is anchored. Somebody said, God put me on the ship. God put me on the ship. And, and dropped that anchor. Jesus, and dropped the anchor. Because I want to stay in you. Because I want to stay See, in you. Brother Miles, if you stay in him, you stay in the word, yes. that means you stay in the heavens. Mm -hmm. And you keep the devil where he belongs. Yeah. Under your feet. Yes, yeah. But what season are you in? Because see, you're going to go through a season of loss. You're going to go through a season of pain. You're going to go through a season of gain. Yes, yes, sir. question is, are you prepared? Huh? Mm. Preparation, write this down. Yes. I 
I'm gonna help somebody today. I'm gonna help somebody today. Somebody's gonna learn something. Come on now. Preparation is the key to success. I'm gonna leave it right there. I said preparation is the key to success. Are you ready for your You know a trial is coming. But the question is, which trial? Is it the one where he told you to do something and you didn't do it? I'm talking about your spouse. Now you're going to catch hell because you didn't see it that way. Well, who are you? When he told you that man is the head. But then, man, did you go to God when she told you, no, nah, Frank, I ain't feeling that. Did you consult God and say, Lord, you gave me this help. Me, 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 me. To listen to the wisdom. Oh, I'm talking about me. Is anybody at home? Yes, I am. You got to be able to listen yeah. to the wisdom. See, aged women is supposed to teach the younger women yes. how to be chased, keep us at home, how to love their own husbands, not somebody else's. All right. All right. To be good and obedient to your own. Mm -hmm. That the word of God be not that speak. But see, aged women ain't in that season no more because everybody want to be glam mom. Okay. Glam mom. <laughs> She's 60, she says 60 is the new 30. She rocking her low cut jeans with her own wall. Then you take it off, you're raving up like a razor. You're 65, talking about me get a tattoo of John right here. What season? I know what season you in. You in the foolish season. You in the stupid season. You like, oh, I just can't get it right from life. Just can't get it right. That's what season you mean. Instead of consulting God and asking him, I want a husband, Lord. Mm. Wait on the Lord. Yes, sir. Start fasting and praying. So John boy can come. Because mm. he ain't going to be wondering whether they hands on you. They ain't talking about praying. All right. Huh? Yes, Bring him before the bishop. What season are you in? Mm. Bring him before your daddy. Let me sniff out the wolf. What season are you in? So that, that season right there is called the obedience season. Let me hearken to his voice and listen to find out where I'm at so I won't screw up again and I won't have baby daddy. Huh? I won't have baby mama. Look at the decisions we make. Because we never ask God, then we put ourselves in a self inflicted trial that mm -hmm. you put yourself in. And you didn't have to. Talking. All you have to do is get up in the morning. Father, I stretch my hands to thee. No other help I know. God, I read my past today because I don't know where to go or what to do. I don't know where to shop. But you book us so hard, head. The highest grocery store in, in, in Jacksonville, Florida is Harris Tina. But you want to go to Win Dixie and Walmart, thinking you're saving the dime. And God said, today, I want you to go to Harris Tina. God, they, 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 they're too far away. They, they charge too much. Uh, I want you to go to Harris Teeter. Okay. Lord, I, I, I ain't got it. Trust in the Lord with all that. What season are you in? When God just told you to go to the highest grocery store in the state. You see, today they got two for one. Mm. Today they got buy one, get five free. Mm. But you don't know, you're going right over the wall. Jesus, Jesus. Because a hard head make up what season He's down on the back. are you in? Mm. You got to look around and just smile. Mm. And say, God, from now on, I'm going to ask you. All right. God, from now on, I'm going to beg you to show me what to do. Jesus. Because I want to be in the right season yeah. at yeah. the right time. Jesus. Come on and say amen unto me. Amen. Glory to God. What season are you in? Somebody say, help me, Holy Ghost. Help me, Holy Ghost. I want to be in the right season. I want to be in the right season. So when I found out, Sister Sade, Sister Camille, that I shouldn't judge people in the season that they're in. 
Because see, if I judge the season you in, mine can be judged. So prayerfully the season that I'm in is a what? A God season. Say amen unto me. Amen. Can I tell you three reasons why you shouldn't judge someone based on their season? Nah. On Let now. me start over here. They didn't want to hear me. Come on Can now. I tell you all what season? No, y'all ain't talking back Come to on me. Now. My wife said I need to be out here at 1 o'clock. It's 1 o'clock. I, I, I cannot talk over here, man, man. Raise your hand if you want me to tell you. Come on, the season. Yeah. Ah, I said the season that you're in. Nah. Come on and say, what season is David was a shepherd one time. Say amen. <laughs> the next season he was a king. Come on. Almighty. Look at Ruth. One season she was working in the field. And the next season, she owned the field. Come on. Mordecai. Mordecai Jesus. was sitting Jesus. outside the king's palace. The next Inca. season, Hallelujah. he was inside the palace. Hallelujah. Come on and shout glory. God's power. What season are you in? Are you in a power and knowledge season? Are you in a learning season? Come on, are you in a catching hell season? Come on, say man. What season are you in? Where are you at, elect lady? Cleopatra, are you in a harvest season? Where you at, boy? What season are you in? Are you in a glory season? Come on, say man. What season are you in? That's why you gotta get up from a dead situation and say, God, show me where I'm at. Where am I supposed to go? Because I want to be in the right season. I want to be in the right place at the right time. So guess what, baby? Let them judge you. Let people misunderstand you. Come on, let them gossip about you. Let them talk about you. Why, Bishop? Because their opinion don't count. The only opinion count is Jesus. Stand on your feet and shout glory. Come on and share that. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, what season are you in? Grab that neighbor by the hand. Shake it and rock it. Say, neighbor, you're coming out. We're going to take the next season. Rock it and shake it. 